Hello and welcome again to the Story Shed. And today I have a story about a bee. The bee who wanted more stripes. Bertie the bee was a rather vain young bee. Every morning as soon as he woke up he would find a large dewdrop in which to admire his reflection. The thing that Bertie liked most about himself was his stripes. He thought stripes were the smartest, flashiest fashion accessory any animal could have. He just wished he had more stripes, but he only had a couple. Still, he thought they are very fine stripes. Then he had an idea. What if he could get more stripes? He would be the stripiest bee around, and then everyone else would admire him too. I know what I'll do, he said. I'll ask some other very stripy animals how they got all their stripes. Maybe I can copy them. He buzzed off through the wood, looking for striped animals to ask. He flew across the fields and then the sea, and at last he reached a place where there seemed to be quite a few striped animals. The first animal he approached looked like a, a striped horse. Hello, Neddy, said Bertie, landing on the beast's nose. I'm not a horse, I'm a zebra. And get off my nose, said the zebra crossly. Oh, I do beg your pardon, said Bertie. I just wanted to ask how you got your stripes. Well, said the zebra, I used to be all brown. Then one day I came across a piano in the middle of the plain. As I walked past the piano, its black and white keys started to play a tune all by themselves. Then I looked down and found I'd turned black and white too. And if you believe that, uh, <laughs> you'll believe anything. And with that, the zebra laughed and trotted off. Bertie continued on his way. Now we could see a large striped cat. Hello, puss, said Bertie, landing on the creature's back. I'm not a cat. I'm a tiger. And get off my back growled the tiger. I'm so sorry, said Bertie. I, I just wanted to ask you how you got your stripes. Well, said the tiger, I used to be all yellow. Then one day when I was a cub, I was playing with a ball of black string and I got all tangled up in it. And that's how I got my stripes. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. And the tiger started to laugh as he stalked off. Bertie continued on his way. Soon he could see a long striped worm slithering through the glass grass. Sorry. Hello, little worm, called Bertie, landing on the worm's tail. I'm not a worm. I'm a snake. And get off my tail, hissed the snake. Oh dear, I didn't mean to upset you, said Bertie. I just wanted to ask how you got your stripes. Well, said the snake, I used to be all brown. Then one day I was crossing a road. Just as the traffic lights were changing from red to green. And when I reached the other side, I found that I was striped red and green from head to tail. Um, and if you believe that, you'll believe anything. And the snake started to laugh as he slithered away. Bertie continued on his way once more. Then he spotted a squirrel with a striped tail in the tree. Hello, squirrel, he said, landing on the animal's paw. I'm not a squirrel. I'm a ring-tailed lemur, and get off my paw, said the ring-tailed lemur angrily. I do apologise, said Bertie. I just wanted to ask how you got your striped tail. Well, said the ring-tailed lemur, my tail used to be all white. Then one day I was playing hoopla with my friends. I said they could use my tail as the target, and so they threw all the rings onto my tail. But they got stuck, and that's how I got a striped tail. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. And the ring-tailed lemur started to laugh as he scampered away. Well, thought Bertie, I'd better give it a go. First, he looked for a piano on the plane, but to no avail. There just wasn't a piano to be found. Then he looked for a ball of string, but he couldn't find one of those either. He did find a set of traffic lights, and he buzzed backwards and forwards in front of them until he felt quite dizzy but he still had the same number of stripes. Finally, he called out, anyone fancy a game of hoopla? But there was no reply. It was night time and all the animals were asleep. Well, I just have to make my way home, thought Bertie sadly. 
He flew all through the night and arrived home exhausted in the morning. Just then he met Clarice, the wise old bee. Clarice said, Bertie, I really would like some more stripes, but although I've asked lots of stripy animals how they got their stripes, all they gave me were silly answers. Clarice looked at Bertie rather sternly and said, you only get the stripes you were born with, Bertie. And besides, do you know what you would be if you had more stripes? Well, you'd be a wasp. Bertie looked horrified. The last thing he wanted to be was a wasp. Wasps were always going around, frightening and stinging everyone, and no one liked them at all. Bertie thought for a few moments and then said, mm. Perhaps having just a few stripes, but being liked by others, is better after all. And that was the story of the bee who wanted more stripes. You can write to us and let us know what you think of the story shed so far, if we can make it better in any way, if there are any stories or poems that you'd like to hear, by emailing us at thestoryshedblog at gmail.com. That's the story shed blog at gmail.com and we look forward to hearing from you soon but in the meantime take very good care be careful be safe try and keep warm in this cold winter weather and for now bye bye <laughs>